Welcome to The Hype, where we give you an inside look at Texas Tech Athletics. I'm Nicholas Talbot. And I'm Krista Pertle. Let's just be frank with this, Nick. Anthony Livingston is a baller. We've seen it so far this season. They haven't played that many games. He can shoot the three-pointer and make it. He can take guys off the dribble. And as a big guy, that's huge for this Texas Tech offense. But Anthony talks about what makes his motion offense so special and how he's gotten to where he is today. Has anything about the way these first two games have gone, has anything surprised you, like been better than you expected it to be? Uh, yeah, um, the motion offense, um, I didn't expect it to work as well as it do. Um, that's, that's like almost an NBA type of offense. There's not a lot of teams across the country that run that offense um, as far as the college team. And um, I'm really, really excited to, to see what that offense really got had to bring to the table. Question, because I know you haven't always been this tall. Mm -hmm. but have you always played like the forward position your whole life, or did you play some guard? Well, I have. I played this position my whole life. Um, I was always heavier, so you know, when I when I went to the park or even in the gyms, I was always the one that played on the block. But I was I was always able to shoot, so you know, I was that inside outside guy. Mm -hmm. When did you first know that you had to really develop your ball handling to do what you've been able to do so far? Well, um, you know, in my short college career, um, you know, coaches have been telling me that, I, you know, me, me being 6'7", 6 6'8", 6 I, I, I would be able to need, need to handle the ball a little bit better than what I do. And, um, you know, lately I've been working on that with the graduate assistants, even on my own time, I go in the gym and try to get a little ball handling in. What's the better feeling, switching a three or throwing down a back? Well, I don't dunk that much, so I will have to go with the three. <laughs> NBA player that you like to say, hey, if I can do that, I can really do more and have a game like this? Well, um, I wouldn't say try to, you know, emulate a certain NBA player, but um, I do pay attention to a couple of them. I would say Lamarcus Aldrich and um, Zach Randolph. I really pay attention to their games. You know, Anthony Davis also, it's not just the names. He mentioned last season that he wanted to be a better shooter to draw people out, which open more driving lanes. How does your versatility really help you with the options you have to go to? Um, being able to shoot, you know, um, speaks for itself. Um, it opens the floor for everybody. Um, you know, um, if, it, if it's a shot block under the rim, he's checking me. You have to respect me um, enough to get my guys open. Um, if I'm on a certain area on the court, he will have to play me with respect, you know, so it helps me and the team, ultimately. Whether it's been a play you've made or someone else on your team's made, what's been your favorite play so far through the Um, Well, I'll have to go with Zach. Like, he's, he's jumping the building. Um, like when I try to go for a rebound or something and I look up and his waist is right here, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, it's, it's different for me. It's that time of year again, folks. It's the holidays. The stores have opened too early for, on Thanksgiving. We're all in a rush for Black Friday, but we wanted to find out what Rache Caldwell liked best about the holidays. Hear what the Lady Raider has to say right here. It's cool having him around. I mean, when he's not, when he's yelling at me, it's not very fun. But uh, we actually try opening our house to our whole team just because we know uh, they're away from home and we try to be a home away from home. So we kind of have them over often, so it's kind of like they have their family here too. Uh, Christmas Eve, we would always go to my uh, abuela, ab abuela's house, and then on regular Christmas Day, we would go to my grandmama's house. So uh, just those two together, having two Christmases was pretty cool. Macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm, my mom's, yeah. Best gift I ever received was probably a Shaq chain. I, <laughs> my favorite player used to be Shaq, so my dad went and got me a, like a Shaq medallion, and he was on the heat at that time, so he was 32. I used to wear it everywhere. I'm pretty sure I still have it, but it stands out. Stephen Curry. I just uh, really appreciate his game. He's not the most athletic, but I know how many hours he puts in the gym and how hard he works. And 
I'm really appreciative of that because I'm not the most athletic, but uh, I know how hard I work and how much goes into being able to shoot that well and pass and dribble and have the IQ that he has. And that'll do it for this episode of The Hype. Check us out on RedRaiders.com, on LubbockOnline.com. For Nicholas Talbot and Krista Pirtle, we'll see you next week on The Hype.